Hey folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create surface round. We will use the merge feature, surface modeling, and at the end, solidify feature. So let's start. New 3D model, and we will start from the base extract feature. It will be simple shape, base it on the rectangle, and some dimension. If you will confirm, we would like to specify the value of the extra feature and then we will continue with second one. The second feature will be again extrude and we would like to use the simple circle and I will use some dimension again for the base height. Okay. This is the base shape where we would like to start or where we would like to start and we would like to create round feature on this selected edge. You can see that you can specify the custom value and yes, you know if you will finish the system will create for you the necessary round feature. What does it mean? If you will select option, you can see that it's possible to switch the surface and what is really great, if you will select the surface you can create a much bigger size like you need and then you can have a look that over here is something like gap and how you would like to deal with this gap it's really easy because we will finish yeah it looks great and for example the two sides i would like to offset so no problem you can select two side, you can use the offset value and then you can specify dimension. So left side was really easy because you would like to reuse existing shape and you can offset and system will create solid model. And over here, I'd like to reuse the surface modeling and we will create some copy geometry. So you can select the surface and then simply copy and paste. So Control C, Control V, and confirm. And you can use only one copy selected surfaces, or you can directly select more than one. I can use the step by step one by one. So copy and paste, and everything is fine. What we would like to do next is we would like to extend this edge. You can select edge of the copy geometry and use the function extend and the system allow to you extend the surface so please extend to some dimension for example 100 doesn't matter right now because we would like to extend same this surface so for example you can select again same dimension you can do it in once if you will select the geometry first. Next feature, what we would like to use is merge surfaces. Best practice is if you will select drop down menu and you will select the quilt and then it's possible to select the first quilt based on the round feature and the second is created from the first copy geometry. Then the system allowed to you to use the merge geometry and like you have seen in previous tutorial you can specify the final result you can check how it looks like it looks good and if you would like to use the second please select the surface and the quilt from the round feature and again use the merge feature confirm ok and everything is ready what is really great that you can edit the round feature. For example, I can use the edit definition or only edit. Or you can specify the value, for example, 80. You can regenerate model. And then last but not least is the selecting the quilts and use the solidify function so we will convert 
surface feature or clear geometry to solid geometry. You can see here that everything is selected. You can confirm OK. And if you can, you can hide the surface and model is created as we need. So is the solid geometry. In this video tutorial, you have seen how it's possible to convert round feature to surface geometry. The second step was that we have created copy of existing surface. We have reused the extent, merge, and at the end, solidify feature. Stay tuned and bye-bye. Bye now.